Hello again YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial that has been requested by a lot of you guys about how do I make um, this text for my name, YouTube, my website, like things like that. That you can see like all of my page that I use. And I use this text a lot, it's my profile picture I've made. Um, I used to use it for my intro, but this intro here was made in Sony Vegas, and I'll make a tutorial on how to make one of these if you have Sony Vegas. If Even if you don't, I have a, another way using this video on how to make this intro like that, but it won't be looking just like this. It will be a bit different, but it will still look pretty good. It will look pretty much like my old intro used to, but I'll make a video about that sometime soon, hopefully. But, um, on the bottom of this video, you're gonna have some links, and you're gonna need to click on the one about GIMP, because you're gonna need this application to do the text, so go ahead, and the first thing you're gonna need to do is get GIMP for your computer, download that, and open that up well I'm, no you shouldn't open that up just download it first and now and then come back to this you're gonna need to go to the second link and this will be the model for for called model for for 2 model for a 3 text it looks like this and you're gonna need to download this to, compu to your computer and install it I already have these both on my computer so I'm not gonna need to install them so once you have done both of both of the, these things, downloaded and installed them both, you're gonna go over to GIMP. You're gonna open that. And you're gonna let it load onto a blank page. So this this might take a couple maybe thirty seconds top. You just gotta let it open up and load just like any other program needs to load bit slow but it's not not too bad all right once this loads you're gonna want to go to uh, new and this size doesn't matter but it will matter do you want to make a square do you want to make a rectangle you want to make it like a wallpaper, how big do you want it? So you're going to have to experiment with your size, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you right now. So I'm just going to go with this, and it doesn't really matter. Um, you can keep this background if you want, but in my next video about how to make an intro, you're going to not want this, or you're going to want to have to like delete that so you have a transparent background, but for making just a picture for like a wallpaper or just to have you're gonna wanna keep this background and you might wanna change the color so you might wanna take the paint bucket and let's see yeah it's on black so now it'll be black so once you're done with that you're gonna wanna take the text tool and you're gonna pick a place to put it in most likely in the middle probably so I'm gonna make one of the pictures that I've made I'm just gonna use Nick C3838 and close I'm gonna go to color and I'm just gonna go to white so you can see it first of all and you're gonna need the white color it's an important part and now adjust your size to what you want move it around to the place you want it and now you're going to go over to this button, click on the font, and you're going to let it load, and you're going to go up to the B's, because this is how it goes, it's alphabetical, and you're going to need to find that BT Bank Gothic, however you say it. Alright, right here. No, it's just called Bank, Go Bank Gothic, MD, BT, that, well, basically that, and I changed your text should change so you're gonna make it big enough so you can fit it all make sure it's centered the way you want it 
and then just close that. Now you're gonna click on the layer of your text. And what you're gonna do is press this button here. It's got two windows. It will. It basically shows two of these same things, and it's gonna say duplicate. You're gonna want to press that button at least once and probably twice. So once you've done that. You should get these two other ones, and it'll say the text that you've named, and it'll say, say number one, and it'll say number two. What you're going to do is select the middle one, and you're going to go to Filters, Alpha to Logo, and go Neon, and depending on how much you want of neon in your picture, depending on the size of your text and your picture, you're going to pick the size, the effect the amount of neon that will be on the text and you go with this Modern Warfare look text you can move this around like that and you find the right you, right color you want you're gonna click OK I'm gonna wait and you're gonna get this but here's the problem it only did this and now the rest of your picture has disappeared so I'm gonna go back and show you what we need to do. So we get your three texts right here, but it's only highlighting around the text box. So what you need to do is go to each, make sure you're highlighting each of your texts. You're gonna go to layer. You're gonna go down to layer to image size, and now it's highlighting the whole entire picture. Now you're gonna go to each one. So I'm on the second one, layer layer to image size and the same thing for the last one and now the whole picture is going to be one thing so now we're going to go to filters out for the logo and neon now this is going to what you're going to want so now it's all ready you highlighted the second middle text on the layers you're going to hit ok and voila here you go that is your text and you don't need this background one so just delete that so you have one background and uh... i think to get rid of this no it doesn't let me i'm not sure how to get rid of that but uh... all right here so that's what it looks like right now you, depending on how big the size of this picture is so if you want this picture to fit your desktop screen, you're going to want to make this picture bigger because it will ruin the look of the picture and it will come out really bad. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, there, I can't mess around with that one. So uh, that's what it looks like when you're all done. We're going to save this. If you're using it as like just a picture to have, you're going to go save as. You gotta t go to just give it a name so something like that maybe and you're gonna save it in your pictures of course or wherever you want it to be so I'm keep it in the pictures and uh, select file type this is an important part when you're in GIMP, it, it gives you all these choices for what type of picture it's going to end up being. So if you're keeping it as a picture to have, a picture for maybe a wallpaper, whatever you want to do with it, the best type of image for that would be a JPEG file, and that will be .jpg, and it'll look like that. And if you're going to make it transparent, which I'll show you in my other videos, you're going to need to find PNG, which is right here. It says PNG image. You're going to select that. But we're just using it as a picture to have, so we're going to keep it as a JPEG. You're just going to hit save, but I already have this, so I'm not. And that's basically how you get this Modern Warfare glowing neon text for Modern Warfare COD style looking text. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.